Acacia's Dejection is the brand new trace rifle from the Root of Nightmares raid, and this thing has a lot of interesting roles. You can see I got my crafted one this week, and I've been trying out a couple different roles, but I'm just going to go over a lot of the interesting perks. The first column is phenomenal. I think a lot of these perks are really good. Perpetual Motion and Keep Away are good if you're just trying to reload. Envious Assassin can be good if you're clearing ads with your other weapon because you can get a lot of ammo in the magazine. Reconstruction, a lot of people are fans of. I don't really like it that much because whenever I'm running trace rifles, I'm using the weapon a lot. I'm firing a lot. So I don't really use reconstruction that much. And then there is rewind rounds, which I believe is the best perk in the column here. It is a great perk and we're going to go into why. But then second column also has some great perks. Frenzy is the first one you unlock. Frenzy is always good. High impact reserves can be very useful with rewind rounds because they synergize super well together. Paracausal affinity is just a 20% damage buff on every kill. So pretty good. And then obviously incandescent is very, very awesome. So any of these perks are pretty usable, but I am using target lock right now. Rewind rounds and target lock on Acacia's Dejection changes it from a kind of piss rifle that doesn't do much damage to big boys and you're using like an SMG to a weapon that you can use like an SMG and you can also use to absolutely dump on some champions. Rewind Rounds is super good on this thing because you get like 65, 66% of your ammo back. I'm, whenever I was testing it here, you can see I have 104 base mag. And whenever I'm shooting and I hit the majority of my shots, maybe I miss some here and there, I get 70 ammo back. And that's pretty good. Obviously, this isn't like creating the ammo. It's not like triple tap in that regard or anything like that, but it's going to reload your gun super often. And that makes you able to use target lock very effectively because you can continue using target lock while the rewind rounds is just reloading your gun. So you can use the gun as just an absolute cold heart style thing where you're just staring at one guy and beaming him. You can see when I'm using it on just normal Carl here, it does pretty good. You got to remember, this is a special weapon that has really, really big ammo reserves. This thing has like 500 something reserves that you can use and it is a special weapon. So you can use something like special finisher to clean it up and you're going to be able to deal a bunch of damage to bosses like Carl. If I go into the legend loss sector though, this is where it really becomes interesting because you can see I can fight this barrier champ with just a special weapon at 15 power under and it is doing great and I don't even have enhanced target lock on this thing because I'm a broke boy and I don't have that many alloys. The stability on this thing is crazy. I know all trace rifles have really good stability, but I was using this thing and it felt like I had literally zero recoil compared to my normal trace rifles. And I think that this gun has huge potential. I think the Rufus's Fury is probably a better weapon to go for, especially with buffs to primary weapons coming in the future. Hopefully ARs see some love. But I think the second weapon that a lot of people should go for is this trace rifle because double special is great. Trace rifles are great. And this one is a bit more interesting than the other ones that are mainly just add clear weapons. This one can also be used for the yellow bars and champions because of the target lock and rewind rounds combo that you can use. So you can throw pretty much whatever you want on this thing. It should be pretty baller, but that's going to be my recommended role. And that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you can get this weapon as fast as I did. I got pretty lucky with my red borders and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.